Another tool within the show value as is the ability to work out running totals or cumulative values. So just simplifying this, let's say we want to know there's January, February, March, what happened during January, February, March, but we actually want a growing total, a running total, a cumulative year to date, let's say. I can right click here, value field settings, show value as, and you'll see we've got an item here saying running total in. When I choose that, you'll see it specifies what base field you want to use. So we're going to use month. And it doesn't require a base item because it's just going to create a running total in the order that it is. So when I say OK, notice that it's 184 in January, which is the same as the original number. But February shows 1322. If I add those two together, you'll see it's 1322. And if I add these three together, it comes to the, the running total. So this would tell us what the cumulative value is. If it was a slightly more complex pivot table, so let's put the destination network in. Notice that because of the way we set it up, so we said running total in month, what it's doing is January, February, and March are shown as running totals and then you'll see that the underlying items are also shown as running totals. What we could do though is we could say no we don't want the running total in months what we want it in the, is in the destination network. When I say OK you'll notice it changes it so now the running total only happens to the destination networks so you'll see that grows so as we add down You'll see it comes back to the total and there are no subtotals here because we haven't requested a running total at that level. In a similar way, one of the other options we have here is instead of the running total, a percentage running total in. And when we say OK, it just shows you how the percentage of grows. So that 8.2 is 4% of the 184 this 59, or actually those two added together, the 68 as a percentage of the total is then this number here.